So some of the comments I made may, may seem repetitive, but uh, every single data point that we talk about is worth repeating over and over and over again because we want to make sure that, you know, there's a full understanding of what we're trying to do here in Rhode Island and why we're doing that. So it's just incredible to be here today with all the people in the room. Uh, we're here to unveil uh, the 2019 update to the Rhode Island State um, Plan on Alzheimer's Disease and Related Disorders. And the update comes from, well, Catherine Tater's here today, and her name is on the original, original piece to push forward with uh, former Lieutenant Governor Roberts. And so we're, we're, ke we're keeping that ball in the air, and we're making sure that we did the work uh, to uh, move, move us forward, as we hope the next Lieutenant Governor will, uh, you know, for five years from now. There are so many people in the room that I want to thank uh, for their support on this project. It was a huge team effort. So please, you know, bear with me as I mentioned uh, that some of the individuals that have really worked tirelessly to get us to this point. Our champion, Donna McGowan from the Alzheimer's Association, the Rhode Island chapter. Uh, Donna, we could not have got this done uh, without you. And I really, really do appreciate that. The Tufts Health Plan Foundation and the Rhode Island Foundation who are both here today, uh, thank you for believing in this effort, uh, for updating the plan, and for the contribution for the funds that allowed us to bring in some high-level high skilled people to help us move this plan forward. So members of our ex the executive board that have met over the last several years, um, you know, that did the hard work uh, to help update this plan. Uh, you guys are amazing, and uh, I've learned so much from each and every one, whether it's in the research area or the caregiving area or the areas that have to do with our universities and the education that surrounds this issue. Uh, our partners at the Rhode Island Department of Health and the Division of Elderly Affairs are here today. I want to welcome Director Jones uh, and we look forward to working with you uh, as, we, as we move forward. Splain Consulting, who drafted the update to the plan, but I want to point out that Jack Reed's office has been incredibly uh, involved uh, and, um, and leading the charge in DC, Washington DC, on behalf of the people who are really uh, committed to um, working on finding the cure for Alzheimer's. Uh, and we're hoping that, you know, Rhode Island, I believe Rhode Island will be part of that effort as because I know that they've worked so, we've worked so hard up to this point. And I also wanna just recognize the members of my, my office who have worked very hard, and, they, and uh, in particular, Andrea. Andrea, nice job. Where's Andrea? Andrea's hanging around here somewhere. Andrea and Craig Dwyer, along with the rest of our staff. But uh, Andrea helped uh, really put this report together and put it in a real concise, professional presentation that I think that we all are going to be very proud of, very easy to use, and, uh, and our office was able to help with that. So, and finally, to all the Rhode Islanders, uh, from across our state who participated in our town halls. Uh, some of you are here in this room. Thank you so much for sharing your stories uh, with us over the last um, several months. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most challenging public health issues Rhode Island is facing today. Uh, again, the number of affected Rhode Islanders, 27,000 by 2025. Elected leaders, advocates, caregivers, uh, and researchers must come together to take unified target, uh, uh, targeted action. Our update to the state plan provides Rhode Island with a framework to cooperatively address the full range of issues surrounding Alzheimer's and other dementias. It will be a blueprint that allows us to take that unified targeted action. I believe our updated plan will also position the state, local small businesses, and nonprofits to take advantage of federal and other funding opportunities aimed at fighting Alzheimer's disease. Almost one year ago, exactly to this date, in this very room, we embarked on this effort to update the 2013 state plan by announcing $30,000 in grants from Tufts Health Plan Foundation and the Rhode Island Foundation. Let's give them a round of applause. We're not here. We're not here at this point without that assistance and that help. The grants allowed us to enlist the services of Splains Consulting, a nationally recognized health um, policy firm, and with the Rhode Island Alzheimer's Association 
acting as our fiduciary for those funds and, and organizing that effort with our office. Uh, we're here today uh, to talk about what was done and what we're going to do. Uh, together, we held uh, 23 town hall meetings, conducted 45 expert interviews, and surveyed over 200 Rhode Islanders impacted by the disease. I wanted to make sure that the updated plan would be a true community-driven effort, and it was because of all your help. Our research resulted in a new bold set of over 30 recommendations for improving supports and services for Rhode Islanders affected by Alzheimer's and other dementias. The plan features three top recommendations uh, that I would like to share with you. One, we found that Rhode Islanders want accurate and timely information about Alzheimer's from a trusted source. Our state needs one central coordinator for all the resources related to this disease. We recommend allocating one director level position within the Rhode Island Department of Health to coordinate the implementation of the Alzheimer's State Plan and acts as that central coordinator. Two, Rhode Island is a small state and we're recommending doing a better job intentionally bringing local Alzheimer's researchers together to identify and discuss research and funding op opportunities. As a side note, I'll be traveling to Taiwan, I think in April, uh, and we're gonna be, uh, one of the visits in Taiwan will be with the research department working on Al Alzheimer's in Taiwan and trying to make sure that we're connecting uh, Rhode Island wherever there's work being done uh, to, um, to really advance the effort uh, to find that first cure of, of an Alzheimer's uh, patient in, the, in our country. Three, we recommend that the state starts including brain health in our publicly funded health promotions and chronic disease management activities. So what comes next? We have, as I mentioned, a representative Mayor Ackerman and Senator Cynthia Coyne uh, ready uh, to introduce resolutions to the General Assembly that will endorse this plan as Rhode Island's guide to combating Alzheimer's and other dementias. Then our executive board will get back to work to implement the recommendations of the plan, and we hope to have the support of everyone along the way. <laughs>